Now, filings have revealed Jay Monahan's earnings for 2022, plus how much the PGA Tour has spent on legal fees. Both of these figures are crazy. Welcome back to a brand new video here on Bat9 Films. This is your home of breaking news in the golf industry, so be sure to subscribe, hit on the bell, that way you will always get notified when we release a video. And I know I keep saying it, but there is so much going on right now, we are approaching a deadline, you'll be foolish not to subscribe. So guys, let's go into this. Now, S Sportico reports that the PJ Tours 2022 Iris filings show a huge increase in Monaghan's compensation and the organization's legal fees. The PGA Tour Commissioner Jay Monaghan's compensation reportedly rose by $4.7 million to $18.6 million in 2022. Now, we're going to break this figure down in this video and tell you how it is all broken down. But $18 million? What the heck? What the heck? Crazy numbers. Now, if that wasn't crazy enough, the legal fees increased by more than tenfold from $2 million in 2021, all the way up to $20.7 million a year later. And that is not even in a whole year in terms of the legal battle. Let's go into these figures a little more. Now, all this information, which has been obtained by Sportico, is via the Tours Tax 2022 return. So these are all legal documents available to everybody. Let's break Jay Monaghan's salary down. Now, the thing that straight away came to my mind when I thought of this and, and saw these numbers was, hang on, you've been paid way more and you're stopping players going earning way more something somewhere else. That's all... I was thinking about it. Now, I know like we can go down this whole route of should they go to live, shouldn't they go to live? But at the end of the day, players have moved to live golf to an employer that's going to pay them more money. Like if you look at it in a sort of a black and white situation, that's how it is. So breaking these figures down a little bit more. Now, $1.8 million of the 18.6 is Jay Monaghan's base salary. Okay. The bonus and incentives make up a $9.2 million. Now, how would you get... A, well, I'd love to know what these bonus and incentives are. I'd love to know. Really would. Like, in my eyes, the PGA Tour's gone backwards. Oh, no, that's probably a bit harsh. The elevator events have definitely made the proposition better, more exciting. But yeah, I just don't... I don't feel the PGA Tour is the same as it was five years ago. Personally, the rest of this money is actually estimated around 7.4 million for non cash benefits to be paid following his retirement. Now, don't get me wrong, I have no, no disregard for people earning substantial amounts of money high up the food chain in high, powerful jobs. That's just the way the world works, isn't it? Like, if you're a CEO of Nike, CEO of Adidas, Puma, whatever it is, right, you get paid a fortune. And that's just the way it works. And fair play, he's built his way up all the way to the top. And that's brilliant. But why I think people would question this is simply he's stopping people going earning more money somewhere else. That is what came to my mind. Now, what do you think of these figures? These are all, as I say, publicly available information, all obtained by Sportico and the PGA Tours 2022 tw tax filing. I think they're crazy. Like, breaking them down like that, absolutely crazy. Now, like I say, if you think that's crazy, the implications of lawsuits has just cost the PGA Tour so much money. Now, let's get into this legal battle cost. And these are absolutely crazy. As I said, they've gone up from $2 million all the way up to $20.7 million. Yes, 20.7, ridiculous. Now, what's even more crazy, particularly when taking into account that the circuit, which is bankrolled by the Saudi Public Investment Fund, PIF, only launched partway through 2022. So that means there's only sort of four to five months that the PGA Tour's cost associated with this legal battle and the PIF 
were included in the IRS filings before the 6th of June merger in 2023. <laughs> That's just six months, let's say. Four to six months worth of legal battles. Astonishing. Right? And this is exactly why the PGA Tour have to find a solution. They can't carry on spending obscene amounts of money. So we are fast approaching the 31st of December. This is where the PGA Tour have to thrash out an agreement with the Pith for the two to coexist. Now, with the deadline nearing, the PGA Tour have confirmed they're in talks with Strategic Sports Group while negotiations with Piff continue. And this is ultimately to re, I guess, emburse their war chest so they can keep fighting legal battles, doing things and paying players. Earlier in the week, it was also revealed that the 20 PGA Tour players, including 2016 Manchester champion Danny Willett, have written to the PGA Tour demanding full disclosure of the PGA Tour negotiations. I said this yesterday, I can't blame the players at all. Furthermore, given a huge sum involved with the PJ Tour's legal battle, the threat of resumption of ho- the threat of resumption of hostilities is highly likely to be something it would be preferred to avoid. Just the stupid amounts of money that it's costing is crazy. We'll know more on this ne- the end of this tax year in terms of what it's cost them since Live Golf started. According to Sportico report, the PJ Tour's legal fees also included costs related to the Department of Justice review of the agreement. It also states that the PJ Tour's revenue increased to $1.9 billion in 2022, up from $1.59 billion to the year before. However, the costs increased by $320 million to $1.87 billion. Even though the PJ Tour is turning over more money, they're not making it. Poor. This is absolutely scary sums of money. Now, thank you so much for watching today's breaking news story here on Bat9 Films. That's all we have time for today. But be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell. That way, I can always keep you up to date with absolutely everything that's going on within the golf industry.